Doctor. As if there's more severe flu season isn't bad enough, 50,000 people could die. There's another concern connected to the virus. Studies suggest the risk of a heart attack is six times greater during the week after you're diagnosed with the flu as compared to the year before or after the in infection. Now, they suspect the flu causes inflammation and stress, which can increase risk of heart attack. Your best defense? Well, we will talk about that. Dr. Abdullah Kudrath, the owner and physician at Angleton ER, is here with us to talk about this scary warning out there. Now, obviously, we have some major concerns when it comes to 50,000 people potentially dying this flu season. Why are we seeing such high numbers this year? Uh, that's right, Isaiah. Um, certain years are worse than others. And this particular year, we're just seeing a very severe flu season. Um, we've seen school distri districts close. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of people stay home from work. And I know in many of the ERs I've been working in, we have a lot of people coming in and hospitalized for the flu. And it just has to do with seasonal variation and whatever strain is going around and just how, um, how dangerous and how viral that strain is. Now, when we take a look at this recent study that suggests that it could increase uh, a heart attack six times, how did we get to that? How did the experts and the medical researchers get to that? Yeah, great question. And this has been, this article has been a very hot topic. Mm -hmm. This particular one comes out of uh, Canada. It's a Canadian study. And we've been looking at this link for years now. This particular study identified that number of a risk of six times more than if you didn't have the flu. Mm -hmm. Now, it's important to understand what that information means. What they did was they looked back at a bunch of hospitalized patients and saw that the risk of the heart attack was higher if you had the flu in the recent days or weeks. Now, that doesn't mean if you're a young person with no heart disease that you get the flu and then will have a heart attack. But what it does mean is if you do have some heart disease and you're on the verge of having the heart attack, that getting the flu might just be the the factor that triggers off that heart attack sooner rather than later. Who's most vulnerable to a situation like this? Are we talking about the elderly or infants or younger people? Uh, this is definitely going to be in the elderly, someone with known cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. And knowing this information is very important because now we can focus on trying to prevent it from people who are at risk with cardiovascular disease. Now back to this flu season where they're predicting saying 50,000 people could die as a result of contracting the flu. What precautions do we need to take and how seriously should we take this? Um, this flu season is definitely getting worse before it gets better and we're starting to see the CDC reports another strain of the flu that might make a second wave. So we should take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. And what we can do is the CDC still recommends vaccination. Although it may not work for every strain of the flu, it still mitigates that risk and controls maybe the second wave. Also, we have to do all those preventative measures such mm -hmm. as uh, hand washing. Um, hand washing is very important. Um, reducing exposure. If we feel like we have the flu, we should be seen or stay home from work. If it gets severe, we should call our doctor or go into an ER because the flu can kill. It's much more severe than a common cold. And of course, we need to limit ourselves when we, are, we feel like that we may be sick from exposing others out in the community. That's absolutely right. And um, especially since it's so easily spread um, in public areas, we have to be very careful to cover our cough, wash our hands very often. Okay. Any other precautions you can tell people to take before we wrap this up about this dangerous flu season we're seeing this year? Um, just following those basic principles are very important. Um, also, um, avoiding crowds, especially in the height of flu season, if you think that a lot of people are coughing and could be spreading the illness. All right. Dr. Kudrath with the Angleton ER, thank you for coming on the Factor Uncensored and providing us with this valuable information at this dangerous time around the country. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Isaiah.